Thank you so much for clicking on this video and supporting the form filler. It would be awesome if you could do the following for me. Please like this video. Please share it with someone that you think could benefit from it. If you've got a question or a comment, leave that for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel. And now, on to the video. Right, so we're going to renew our TV license today. And that's at the website www.tvlicensing.co.uk. That's the only website where you should be going to renew your TV license. It's really important to watch out for scam emails which look like they're from TV licensing uh, following this information from the website. So do keep an eye out for any scam emails you may receive. Um, they're very much not going to be genuine so please be on the lookout for, for how to spot these as well. Again for any way to spot these you can again go back to the website which is www.tvlicensing.co.uk. So it's a very straightforward application when you're renewing when you get a letter in the post from TV licensing they give you a unique uh, TV license or customer number and clicking on the question mark here will show you exactly where to find that number and it's a 10 digit TV license number or a 9 digit customer number and once you enter it it's going to pull up all your details and then when you've punched in your name excuse me once you've punched in your uh, customer number or TV license number you're going to put the surname and that's following the guidance here please enter the last name exactly as it appears on the TV license so if it's Smith you just put in Smith so again just refer to your TV license the, the one that you've got in the post or from last year and then that's the exact same surname you want to put down in the last name field and then very finally of course you put the postcode where the license address is again if you're not sure you can just refer back to the license and it's going to be in the same field just below uh, your name Right, so now that we're signed in, we are taken to the next page, which is just renewing your TV license. It's just going to give you a quick double check just to show you the details that they've got uh, of your license on file. At the moment, it'll probably show if the license hasn't expired yet from your current year, it'll show when it's valid until. So have your TV license number, the fee you pre previously paid. Last year it was £150.50. And then the type of license you have, whether it's for black and white TV, they still exist I'm not sure um, or a color TV and how you would like to receive the TV license you can receive it either by email or you can receive it by post as well so once you're happy with all those details you just need to hit renew now which is renew your TV license and it will take you to the next page and how you can pay so here it asks you if you're going to be renewing your TV license for yourself someone else or a business premises so on this occasion we're just going to keep it nice and straightforward and uh, do it for ourselves. Then it will ask you how you would like to receive your new TV license. So there's online TV license by email which it recommends. Or well, if you're a bit old school or you'd like to have something to file away, you're welcome to go ahead with the paper TV license by post. Then you punch in your email address and then we will send your TV license by email to this email address. And uh, looks like they won't be spamming us with lots of information so they'll just keep it just for essential information about your TV license and then finally you can state whether you're currently a student or not and potentially if you're living at halls or away from home during term time so having clicked continue we're now taken to the payment methods page and we can now see that the TV license for this year has um, risen to £154.50 and now we're met by the payment methods, the way in which we can pay for our TV license. So we've got direct debit, which uh, TV license recommends. Uh, nice and straightforward way of just being paid off without you having to do much, especially if you're looking to pay monthly or quarterly. And of course, you've got the debit or credit card options available here as well. We're going to go ahead with the credit card option in this occasion, which always leads back to what I'm always saying in my other videos if you've got a credit card. Like myself, I always try to use my credit card like a debit card, so I try to make my money work a bit more harder. Um, there's a good video that I've released about credit cards, if you're interested, you can find them at the end of the video. That's why I kind of prefer to use credit cards where I can. Um, as long as I know I've got enough funds to pay off the credit card balance in total every month, it can be a really useful boon, especially when you've got cards which can afford, uh, reward you with points or cashback or vouchers might always be something to implement if um, you're comfortable using credit cards of course. So of course on this page we're just simply entering our card details here, credit or debit card details 
to go ahead and proceed with the payment. In the next page, you're just going to be entering the cardholder's details, so the cardholder's name as it appears on the credit or debit card, and then the billing address uh, which is associated with that card is listed in the address fields option. And then you hit continue. So here you met with a final amount before you um, proceed with the payment. So it's just going to double check that the details that you've entered are correct. So again, it's the £154.50 fee for this year. And the card number details that you've entered are correct. Make sure they're good. And then you want to click on make payment. And so you can see it's now stating your current payment status is processing. And as it's being processed, it will then become red to blue successful. And here you have it. Thank you, your TV license application was successful. You get yourself a transaction ID. And then uh, of course you also get an email that you've uh, punched in to the email address, uh, confirming your payment. I recommend just storing that and saving that somewhere in your emails, maybe starring it or putting it into a folder for your reference. And the payments will be shown on your bank statement as TV licensing. And if you did opt for a postal a license, it will come in the post as well for you. And as I scroll down, you can now see I've got the updated information for this year. So I've got the TV license number, of course. I've got the new amount that was £154.50. And then now I've got the new valid until date for the TV license again. It's a color type. And I opted to receive the license by post as well. So thanks for watching this quick little video about how to renew your TV license. I hope you find it helpful. And it's always uh, important to stay on top of these things so you don't find yourself with any nasty penalties or fees when you go outside of the, the expiry date of your TV license. As you can see, it's quite straightforward and it takes about five to 10 minutes just to run through all the information that you are presented with on the screen. It's a fairly comprehensive website. And again, the only way, the only website to go to for this is www.tvlicensing.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.